Oh yeah, I'm Gary from Tono Jane. Right, my printer will not print. Sounds simple, is in no way a technical diagnosis, but sometimes if your printer's just driving you mental and it won't print, that's the only way you can you know that's the only way you can describe it. Could be something really complicated that's causing a problem, could also be something really easy. And that's what we're gonna look at in this video. Just a few things you can check to make sure it's something really obvious that's stopping you from printing. Okay, so let's begin. The first thing you should do is check for any error messages or warning lights displayed on your printer. Now, printers have many different error messages and lights and they all mean different things. Your printer manual should be able to outline which one it indicates. Or of course, if you're still unsure, get in touch with us and we'll be happy to help you. Number two, and without wanting to completely insult your intelligence, make sure there's paper in the tray. You won't believe the amount of people that make that mistake. Now it could be good to check your ink and toner levels. If you're running low, your computer might display something like this here, and it simply won't perform a print until it's resolved. So just make sure you've got enough ink and toner in your printer. To access information about how much you've got left, click on your printer in the devices and printer section of your control panel, or if you've got any printer software installed on your computer, you should be able to find this in here. Okay, another one is to check print queues. Sometimes old jobs can be left in the queue, which prevent new jobs from completing. So to double check this, go to your control panel, your devices and printers, and just see whether there's any old jobs still left in there. As you can see, there's a few still in the queue here. So just double check with whoever the owner is that you're okay to go ahead and delete it. And hopefully, now that the queue's clear, that might solve something. Next, check the connection from your printer to your computer. If you're using USB, it's sometimes worth changing USB ports. For some reason, sometimes that does sort it out. If you're using your printer over Wi Fi, double check your connection. If you're having problems connecting to your Wi Fi, I know it's a bit 2004. Or maybe go back to using the old USB cable. Okay, another common one is to double check that you're selecting the right printer to print to. So if you check our document here, I've noticed the Le Mans printer is our default, when actually I want to use the Brother. Now of course I can obviously select the Brother now for a one-time print job, but I want the Brother to be the default all the time. So the best way to do this is to go to your control panel and devices and printers again. Find the, br the Brother printer, the printer that you want as your default, right click, and request set as default printer. And finally, check that your printer software on your computer is up to date. Now normally you'll see a pop-up on your computer informing you that a software update is available. However, you may need to seek these out manually from time to time. To do this, you can either perform a Windows update, or of course, perform an update for your Mac computer. A step-by-step -step guide to doing both of these can be found in the blog post that accompanies this, this video. Or, it's also worth inserting any disks into your computer that may have come with your printer. This is because they may be able to install a driver for your device. These are programs that can help your computer to detect any installed hardware. It's also worth heading over to the support sections of your manufacturer's website to check for any updates. You can search by model number like you can here on the Samsung website. Also, just double check that your printer is compatible with any operating system that you're on. For example, a new printer may not be able to work on, say, a Windows 2000 computer. Though this shouldn't be the case, it is always worth double checking. Okay, so I know they might sound quite obvious, but sometimes it's the obvious things that can stop your printer from functioning. If you've still got a problem, then please get in touch, we'll be happy to help. Do check out the accompanying blog post for all the help in the steps as well. You'll find the link in the description if you're watching this on YouTube. But I hope that's helped, and thanks for watching.